Aleluya. Aleluya. It's all about Him. Aleluya. It's all about God. Aleluya. Even when I was in that valley place, it was still all about God. Aleluya. Because it was about what He was trying to teach me in that valley place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's still all about you. Regardless of my situation, God, it's still all about you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what I have found out, if, it were, if we would change the subject of the matter that we are dealing with, amen, when we make that situation and that issue about God and make him the subject matter, hallelujah, he would change because as we know that there is a subject and there is a predicate in a sentence. And if we make Jesus the subject, we know that there is a verb in the predicate, amen. And if we make Jesus the subject, his action, which is a verb, will change your situation. So we have to learn to make Jesus the subject of the matter. Oh, hell I don't say it. I don't say it. Make him the subject of the issue. Oh my God. Sometimes we just have to change the subject. Sometimes we just have to change the subject and stop talking about our problems so much and start talking about Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Change the subject of the matter. Change the subject of your issue. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because it's all about him. Hallelujah. It's all about God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to almighty God. Who is able to deliver and set free. Hallelujah. How I know that it's, we wearing purple for domestic violence. Hallelujah. I was a victim of domestic violence. Hallelujah. But today, I'm walking in royalty. Hallelujah. 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 Because what the enemy meant for bad. Hallelujah. He'll turn it around, y'all. I say he'll turn it around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will turn that situation around. Hallelujah. And you will look at it and say, I was that. I used to be that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 He'll turn it around. He'll turn it around. He'll turn it around. I don't know what who is this for, but he'll turn it around. He'll turn it around. You looking at me, a living testimony. Hallelujah. He'll turn it around. Glory to God. Glory to God. He'll turn it around. He turned it around. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When we make it about him, when we make our lives about him, hallelujah, glory to God, mm -hmm. glory to God, mm. when we make it about him, hallelujah, he'll turn it around, mm. glory to God, Woo, hallelujah.
Praise the Lord on this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I say it's good to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because I don't know about you, because I remember I didn't think I'd make it. I didn't think I'd be here. Hallelujah. Mm. But God. God has a plan for your life. Hallelujah. He has a plan for your life. I know the devil has a plot, but God has a plan for your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Who we honor God today. Hallelujah. For what he has already done in the house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. And there is a word from the Lord on this morning. I, I promise I've been back and forth and Lord try to change some things. But whatever you do, God, just what, however you use me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I come to make a public announcement. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. I come to make a public announcement. Hallelujah. How, and that is that all power belongs to God. I said all power belongs to God. Hallelujah. All power belongs to him. The devil don't have any power over you. Hallelujah. And we need to proclaim today that all power belongs to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's have a word of prayer. Father God, I thank you, Lord God. God, I thank you for allowing us together here this morning, Lord God. Giving us another opportunity, Lord God, to eat your word, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for the ones that who are here on this morning, God. We thank you for the ones that may be on their way, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for the ones that's watching by social media, Lord God. God, we pray that this word, God, will fall on ears that those, God, that need to hear it, God, and they would just receive it, God, and not just receive it, God, but they would apply this word to their lives, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for what your word is going to accomplish on this morning. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray, amen. Amen. We thank God on this morning. Hallelujah. Who glory to God. We've been all on the high ever since Sunday school this morning. Amen. And we just thank the Lord for you all that are here on today. Amen. So I come to make a public announcement. This is a public announcement. And we're going to go from, we're going to come from the book of Acts. And then we're going to go to the book of Psalms. But we're going to come from Acts nine and we're going to take verses 18 through 20 and then we want to go to psalm 68 verses 34 and 35 and it reads at once something like scales fell from his eyes and he regained his sight then he got up and was baptized and after taking some food he regained his strength Saul was with the disciples in Damascus for some time. Immediately, he began proclaiming Jesus in the synagogue. He is the son of God. Psalms 68, 34, and 35 reads, Power belongs, this is the living Bible, Power belongs to God. His majesty shines down on Israel. His strength is mighty in the heavens. What are we feel kneeling here before him in the sanctuary? The God of Israel gives strength and mighty power to his people. Blessed be God. Now the NIV version reads, Proclaim the power of God whose majesty is over Israel, whose power is in the heavens. You, God, are awesome in your sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people praise be to God amen amen to proclaim means to announce it means to declare it means to affirm a proclamation is an official announcement it is a public announcement that is issued by a person of authority 
to recognize a day, a week, or a month that would make a major citywide impact, statewide, or nationwide impact. The goal of a proclamation is to honor, celebrate, or create an awareness of a significant matter. Amen. We make proclamation all the time not realizing it. Our birthdays, it's a public announcement. Amen. We put it all over Facebook and Instagram. Amen. When there's a child birth, it's a, we make it a public announcement. Marriage is an anniversary. Amen. We want to bring awareness to these days or events because they're special to us and we believe it causes for it's cause for a celebration. Amen. And we know this month is breast cancer month and domestic violence awareness month. But just as we are bringing awareness to these days, we should be bringing more awareness to Jesus. Amen. Jesus is significant. Amen. Who is most important in all the world except Yahweh? He's the reason why we exist. Amen. Who's most important in the world than Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer? Jehovah Nisi, the Lord our banner. Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is present. Amen. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace. Who is most important than Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider? Amen. Amen. An advocate is someone who publicly supports or promotes something, someone or a cause that he or she believes in. An advocate publicly recommends. Publicly. The Apostle Paul was a good example of an advocate for Christ. He publicly supported the gospel. Most of the time, we don't become, we don't come automatic public supporters of, of something or someone until we have become convinced, whether through an action or an interaction, that it's a good thing. In other words, we normally don't support anything that has not been proven. We really don't want to be embarrassed if it fails. That's one of the reasons. But, but if we have tried it and experienced it, then we, sh we have proof whether it works or not. Amen? So ask your neighbor, have you tried Jesus? Have you tried his word? Amen. In Acts 1 through 17, 9, 1 through 17, Paul experienced God in a way that changed his story. And I want to tell you today that God is changing your story. You are looking at someone who dealt with some things in life. And I really didn't know how my story was going to end. Hallelujah. But I'm standing here today, saved, sanctified, and filled with the precious Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So the apostle Paul had an interaction with God. He had an encounter that changed his destiny. He had an encounter that changed his perspective on life. The apostle Paul who was known as Saul before his conversion went from stoning Christian to becoming one. God would change the story. After his Damas Damascus Road experience, after his conversion, he spent the rest of his life proclaiming the gospel. He preached the gospel. Amen. God will come and change your perspective on life. If we allow him to, amen. He will change your viewpoint of life if we allow him to, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And some of you probably remember when you were heading down a dark road of destruction, amen. And you could not see any light, amen. You didn't know how you were going to end up, amen. Your destiny did not look bright, 
Amen. Hallelujah. And you had accepted that life would probably always be in that state. God would change the story. Amen. It looked like there was no end to the madness. Hallelujah. But thank God for your Damascus Road experience. Hallelujah. You had an encounter with God. And I don't know about you, but my encounter did not happen in the church house. Amen. Hallelujah. But you had an encounter with God that changed your life. Hallelujah. I'm a witness today that God would change your life. Amen. He would change your desires. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He would change your desires. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I have to be realistic with you, and, and, and the pastor talks about this all the time, that when you have been converted, sometimes you go back and mess up. I did it. Made some wrong decision, made the wrong choices, dated the wrong somebody. Hallelujah. But I thank God. I thank God that he showed up for me again and again and again and again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And put me back on track. Hallelujah. So don't get discouraged if you fall. Just don't stay there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They were talking about this morning that you need to you get up and you repent. Hallelujah. And get that thing right with God. Amen. And he'll place you back on track. Glory to God. Glory to God. So Paul, after his conversion, he preached the gospel. He became a supporter of the good news. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you there's a lot of junk that's being preached out there on today. And it's not the gospel. Not only that. But there are, there's a lot of junk that's being supported. And it's not the good news. Hallelujah. So beware of who and what you are supporting. Just because it sounds good does not mean it's the gospel. Just because it gives you goosebumps don't mean it's the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The gospel sometimes is being substituted with foolishness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that God, and we've been talking about this, is redeeming, renewing, and restoring God's people. That's the gospel. Amen. Amen. Not through H-O-R-C-M. But through Jesus Christ. He is just using H-O-R-C-M as a tool, as a vessel, hallelujah, as a channel, hallelujah, to get the people to Christ. Hallelujah. 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 The gospel is not that God got a blessing with your name on it, although he may have. The gospel is not your husband is on the way, although he may be. Hallelujah. The gospel is not money, it's coming. Hallelujah. But we believe it's coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallel the gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ and the path he has given us to salvation and to eternal life. That's the, that's the gospel. Amen. That's the good news. Amen. Hallelujah. So what are we proclaiming? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul proclaimed the gospel. Amen. He, Paul is a good example that we should follow. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 68, 34 and 35 reads, proclaim the power of God. Tell somebody about God's power. And stop telling them your problems. What do you know about Jesus? What has he done for you? How has his power manifested in your life? There ought to be some evidence, amen. 
and it reads, whose majestic is over Israel. The greatness of God is revealed in the beginning of Genesis, from the beginning. There is none like him in all the world. Just as his greatness and splendor is over Israel, his great, greatness and splendor is over us. Amen. He reigns forever. Amen. And it goes on to read, whose power is in the heavens. Some versions of the Bible refer to the heavens as the clouds and the skies. When we really think about the power of God in the clouds, think about the thunder and think about the rain. Can't nobody humanly possible operate in that way. That's why can't nobody tell me that there's not a God. Amen. Nobody has that kind of power but God. Yet, with all his power, he still comes down to see about us. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 33 and 26 read, There is no one like him who rides across the heavens to help you and on the clouds in his majesty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 35 reads, God, you God, are awesome in your sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God. We should acknowledge the God of Israel who he's worthy of praise and honor. Amen. He is awesome in his holy place. But he sees us in our valley place. Awesome are you, God, in your holy place. Yet you come down to see about us and gives us strength and power to overcome, to stand, and to endure. Amen. So we give God the praise for his power. Amen. When you think about all the power that he has, but yes, he gives us strength and power, and he comes to see about us. Hallelujah. The power of God is almighty. It's, 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 it's sovereign. You know, when you just think about the, 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 earth, the world and, and the earth and everything that dwells in it, you know, man could not do this. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we are proclaiming the power of God this morning. Amen. We are not going to shed light on our situations and our issues but we're going to proclaim the power of God over that situation and over your issue amen so I don't know about there's somebody here today that needs to know that all power belongs to God hallelujah you need to rebuke the enemy right now in your mind that's telling you that you are not going to make it Hallelujah, because you're looking at somebody who made it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All power belongs to God. Hallelujah. I said all power belongs to God. Amen. So if you're sick, I'm telling you, all power belongs to God. Hallelujah. If you're a burden, I'm going to tell you that all power belongs to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're depressed, hallelujah. All power belongs to God. Hallelujah. He is a man radical. Hallelujah. He'll give you peace in the midst of that trouble. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I said power belongs to God. I said power belongs to God. I need for you to hear me. I said power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. I said all power belongs to God. Hallelujah. 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 As we this morning, and we was in the Sunday school, and I was and the Lord started dealing with me with this message. I said, Lord, I don't know why you shifted me in a, in a place, but I know that um, I, 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 he was shifting me talking about the issue. And I said, well, I done talked about the issue of blood so many times, you know. I said, but for some reason, when we was in Sunday school, it's some people that was in, that's in here with some issues. God, there's some people that's in here that with some issues. And I don't want to talk about the issue. 
I don't want to talk about that again, but there are some people in here that have some issues. Hallelujah. And and, Sister Anders said this morning, he said, today is a day for you to be delivered on today. Amen. And so I said, God, I don't want to talk about that, but I've got to talk about it because there is somebody here that has some issues that they need to give over to the Lord this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 If you can recall the woman with the issue of blood, she had issues for a long time. Hallelujah. The Bible said 12 years. That's a long time to be dealing with some issues. Hallelujah. 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 But she made up in her mind one day, she heard about Jesus. Hallelujah. And you there having that issue. I just want to know, have you heard about Jesus? Hallelujah. Have you heard about Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because this morning, Jesus is passing by. He's in the room this morning. Hallelujah. He's in the room this morning. Hallelujah. So that issue that you may be dealing with on this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever the issue is that you're dealing with on this morning, he's in the room this morning. He's waiting to heal you. But the Bible said that she reached out and she trusted him in his garment. She had faith enough that she reached out and she trusted him in his garment. I just want to know if you have faith enough to reach out and trust in him and his garment. Hallelujah. I say I want to know if you have faith enough to reach out and trust in him and his garment. Hallelujah. Because he's in the room. He's in the room. He's in the room. He's in the room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's in the room. Hallelujah. He's in the room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By her faith, she was healed. Hallelujah. By her faith, she was healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to know if you believe this morning. Do you believe that God will heal you? Do you believe that Jesus will heal you? Do you believe that Jesus will heal you? Hallelujah. 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 Do you believe it? 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 If you believe it, you need to come down to this altar. Hallelujah. If you believe it, you need to come down to this altar. Hallelujah. If you believe it, you need to come down to the altar.